Hello All Blacks fans. A Rugby World Cup final between the All Blacks and France at 8 a.m. on October 29, NZT, will take place if the most naturally gifted players on the planet survive a lopsided draw, refereeing inconsistencies, and sheer bad luck to make it that far. If you don't want to miss this and other news, subscribe to the channel now so that YouTube continues to send you the news that I bring you daily about the All Blacks. Now let's get the news. They may well not. The All Blacks' big danger game at this World Cup is the semi-final, not a likely quarter-final against Ireland or South Africa. The quarter-final will self-evidently be an enormous challenge, but getting back up to the right mental state should they win that game will be even harder. As for France, they have their imperfections, as a loss to Scotland last weekend showed, albeit with an understrength side. However, as a neutral, a final between New Zealand and France is the one you crave, because it would confirm that the tournament has provided a platform for the Antoine Duponts and Richie Amoangas and Will Jordans and the Damien Panades to express themselves. The men's game could do with that sort of lift after the women showed last year what a beautiful game it can be. But, the All Blacks are not outright favourites even though their rugby championship form has flipped the under-the-radar script. If you looked hard enough, there was enough in the All Blacks win against South Africa and the victories against the Wallabies to give other sides a target. The Wallabies got paid by using their big ball carriers close to the ruck, in the same way that France liked to play off halfback Dupont, with number 12 Jonathan Dante operating as another sledgehammer to complement their excellent loose forwards. And when the Springboks used their bomb squad to make a mess of the All Blacks ball, there was probably a quarter of pretty unconvincing rugby from the men in black. The All Blacks won't gloss over that poor first half in Dunedin, despite accentuating the positives shown in the second half comeback. In fact, that opening 40 minutes will annoy them. They knew how and where the Wallabies would come at them, but they just weren't good enough to stop it, even with Kane, Artie Sabia, Sam Whitelock and Brody Retallick in the starting side. If they produce another 40 minutes like that from the quarterfinals onwards, they won't win the big prize. Of course, the All Blacks are a far better side now. Their micro skills have been restored, with their tactic of overloading the blind side reflecting confidence in their forwards catch pass technique. That is why it is so hard to split them with France. The All Blacks have been excellent this year, but the French, with the Irish a whisker behind them, are Europe's best chance in 20 years to win the Rugby World Cup. What do you expect from All Blacks for the World Cup? Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any All Blacks news. Leave your comment below. Your opinion is very important for All Blacks. I'll be back soon with more news.